Alright, back for the final. With a hand that's pretty much as sketchy as the deck in general. I think I should mulligan that. It's just this hand just doesn't cannot I can't discuss anything relevant really. If I draw a couple of lands it's fine, but I need double green for that, red for that. It's almost sure that I will not be able to play one of the spell here in the first seven or six turn. I feel like I should just mulligan and try to get something a bit better. Okay, I like that more. I definitely like that more. Hundo Week is one of my only removal and I like it, but I think we have to try to get lands. Key to the city. Key to the city, Threadwork Colony can steal games, I guess. Sky Skiff, ugh. Not a good news for us. The drawing a land was good though. But you don't really want to see your opponent having some aggressive two drops when you are playing Fretwork Colony. You sure thing boss, you can beat down. Ooh, Solo Strike should be good at some point. When I'm play when I'm playing that card I'm always worried that it will just end up killing me. So I guess I'm taking five this turn most likely. Or should I trade with trusty companion? I think we should since it has vigilance. Yeah. And I think I misplayed by playing the Rhino over the Weaponcraft Enthusiast. That yeah, that was not good. That was no good. Uh, yep. Misplay, misplay, clearly a misplay. You'd much rather have uh I think I'm gonna make servos because uh since this has prowess I cannot really block it. And Having a couple chum blocker looks decent right here. Ooh, malfunction, that's the nightmare. That is the true nightmare. My opponent did not attack for some reason though. Interesting. Why would you not attack? I guess I can attack with those. Pretty much tell them that I have Solo Strike, but I'd be happy to trade this for either Sky Skiff or Blade Master. Especially Sky Skiff, because not on taking one damage each turn, getting rid of a flyer is is pretty good. So minus one, plus one. All right, I think it was a good trade. I think we will still lose to the malfunctioned. Fretwork Colony, and this will leave the deck for the, the the next games. Especially since White could also have, um, what's the name of that card? Uh, Revoke Villages. So we'd rather avoid that. I think we'll take two here, and we'll discard Pia because I cannot cast her right now, and that sounds pretty lame. And we don't have a lot of removal, so we cannot even kill our own colony. Ooh, not looking good. Okay. Now that we discarded Pia, we have access to red. Seems like a sweet sequence of events. <laughs> Mine is not the worst, though. But I think, yeah, honestly, the fact that we are dead of the colony pretty soon. Ooh, discarding a freighter. Their last card must be pretty insane. Yeah, three five will block with the enthusiast. Trumpeteer. Well, at least the trumpeteer is going to grow alongside the colony, or maybe just die. <laughs> But that's kind of sweet, I mean, it's kind of a replacement for my colony, but I could really see my opponent having the... I'm chomping here. I don't want a double block because I want that to grow bigger and I don't want to take three. Uh, I could see my opponent having uh, revoke privileges right here. Look, looks like they don't though. Malfi squad. I don't think we want to attack when they could have an instant and eat, and eat the fairground trumpet here. So we'll drop a squad. Make it a 4-2. 
or I guess a 3-1 because I need some chain blockers this game because I cannot afford to take any damage I don't think so let the trumpeter grow bigger so I guess my opponent kept a 5 drop and discarded when they discarded freighter and harrier I don't know what they are up to though they discard two very good spells and they are not doing anything so there is clearly something that's going on here maybe a counter spells Counter spell. Judge was a good draw, but I kind of suspect that they have a counter spell here. No. Okay. Surprising. I'm surprised. Uh, guess we'll be down with the trumpet here and make it unblockable. They probably have a tweak or a removal of some kind, but I mean, I don't see how standing there and not doing anything is going to be good for me. Yeah, so like for inspection is kind of what I expected, to be fairly honest. And that's the reason why I did not add attack with the squad, because they could have double block and this would have just died. It's not too bad though, because 7 turn is a decent amount of time, and at some point the key will kill them. Uh, I don't really think we want to draw right here. I think we have to deploy some threats. Or maybe not. Yeah, actually, I'm still gonna draw, yeah. Okay, since we draw lands, that's pretty cool. So. I guess we'll make the judge unblockable. I guess I should probably have done that last turn. I don't think this is really a game for me, Night Oil. I think I'd rather just have a land in general. Because if they bounced the, the judge last turn, I would have been able to draw some more cards. I don't really need cards at that point. That's the thing. Uh, no, I think we want to drop the trumpet here. want that to grow. Huh, interesting game. I thought I was completely losing and now there might be a shot because of the stupid key. I don't know what my opponent is up to though. Why do they have nothing in hand? We'll just double jump here. Okay, Fumigate. That actually is good because now we don't have the... That's the real reason why they were, weren't playing anything. But we are drawing two cards here. We have a threat in hand. It's kind of clunky that we discarded Midnight Oil and that we drew two lands in a row. But with the key, we are not very likely to flood. And we are not under the pressure of dying to the to our own colony anymore. So who knows? And my opponent seems to be out of gas somehow. So maybe they just flooded out. Good god. Definitely drawing, yes. Daredevil. I'm not gonna play any more lands from now on. Could see an impeccable timing getting thrown. No. Yeah, my opponent just seems out of gas somehow. Alright. This game seemed unwinnable and suddenly it seemed very winnable. I am at 6 life though, so if they just play a threat that could go wrong. Not really care about ambition too much. Like my opponent is probably going down to yeah seven next turn. No, I'm bad. Uh, five. Either theorist is not gonna be able to jump block because I can make something unblockable. I'm drawing to card once again. Key is just a messed up card. Alright, that's pretty good. Don't think we wanna hunt the weak the uh the theorist as it is not blocking anything relevant this turn and we might have to keep hunt the weak for a stronger, more threatening creature. Jeez, if I end up winning that one it's gonna be sick. I have twelve cards in my <laughs> deck. Classic, a, 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 an, an old time classic in limit. Well, I guess that's not super low, but still. 
<laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> the malfunction on the colony and then them forced to fumigate. Ooh, they got a bit flooded, I guess, but I drew a bunch of lands too. I just had a nice looting tool. Amazing. So, so some sort of blue-white control deck, I guess. Fumigate is in an important thing to know about. You are still playing some pretty aggressive vehicles, though. Okay. I want Creeping Mold, I think, here. Uh, they, they, they showed two vehicle plus malfunction, so that seems like a good one. They are also splashing for black, so maybe we can just hit the land at some point. Colony seems awful. Goodbye, Colony. And that's gonna be that. Wheeler Maker could be kinda annoying for them. So let's make the curve how it, it, it actually is. Still have a bunch of fours. I, I could see Wheel of Maker being quite good in this matchup. Like, if there's some sort of stall and they don't have much going on. That being said, I think between the Midnight Oil and Two Judge, I have a pretty solid late game in general. It's slightly clunky that is, if I try to stack up too many creatures with counter for the Judge and they fumigate, it's not good for me. Maybe Minor Rot is actually pretty nice in this matchup, but what, what would I cut for that? Just let me know. What would I cut? Everything seems great. Daredevil seems like an amazing card in this matchup. Nah, yeah, I think we'll submit that. Whew! Feels good losing when... I mean, <laughs> feels good winning when you were a uh, threat work. <laughs> that was just funny. That was pretty funny. I was kind of expecting something along the lines of Fumigate because of the fact that my opponent was not doing anything. But yeah. The only thing I regret is uh, making the Trumpeter unblockable instead of the Armor Craft Judge. So I guess it's on the same turn where I play the Judge. So the Judge could not attack. But I was almost sure they had some sort of trick, most likely a bounce. Hmm. <laughs> Turned out fine for me though. Ooh, that was an exciting game. It's, uh, yeah, this kind of games where you are sure you're gonna lose for, you know, pretty much the entirety of the match and you end up winning. That's that's sweet. I mean, the, the game I should rather say. Sounds good enough to me. It's not very aggressive, but still so strike and take, take care of one toughness creature. Driving Rats was a very great draw here, especially when I have Judge. Skyskiff. Ninth Bridge Patrol. Okay. A tune with Ezer is kind of sweet with the Rats and also nice at getting me my second green. Hopefully they just tap out here and I can kill the stupid Patrol before, before it grows. Um... I think we want to attune, get a, a forest, play the forest, attack, hopefully they block with Blade Master, that'd be the dream scenario, or double block, I don't I don't see, really see them blocking, oh, 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 wrong choice my dude, you came to the wrong neighborhood. We have rats around here, and those rats, they are not kidding. Creeping Mold uh, Island. We could also Iron League Steed and then hope that they don't have Fumigate. I have a pretty huge threat here. Let's First, first thing first, I think we want to see if they have a uh, Select for Inspection. Because that... Well, ah, no! I misplayed! Crap! I think I'm supposed to creeping mold the island before attacking so they cannot select for inspection. Mm, yeah, that's probably the move, as we saw select for inspection game one. They might just be slow rolling creatures because they have fumigate in hand. If they if they are trying to do that, it's not gonna work well for them though. Ooh, should I boost the rats then? 
Mm, I'm pretty sure they have uh, the bounce spell here. Okay. Now we could play Judge, draw a card. If they have Fumigate, it's fine. I kind of like the the nasty plan of creeping molding the swamp, though. Maybe I should should have creeping mold the island. Oh, they have another swamp. No. No. Trusty companion. Sure. Surfing boss. Um, so I guess we are attacking with them rats. I don't think they have the bounce spell, but they could. Now that they are, they play the creature. I don't really mind um, dropping a creature of my own because uh, the fumigate doesn't really get me. I should have killed the island though, not the swamp. And I should have done that first main phase, so I this way I don't have to care about the select for inspection. Yeah. Alright. I think we'll just drop a... No, actually I'm gonna drop the, the trumpet here. It's gonna grow up to a 3-3. Three, three. It's pretty sweet. If my opponent Rass is here, it's a 2-4-2. Two two. I'm happy with. Nothing. I think they wanna make me play too many things into uh, Rass. But since I have the Judge, I don't really care about that too much. I think we want to judge right now, get our card. I should have left a green available, I misclicked. I wanted to tap the, the mountain. Key to the city. I don't have anything I want to discard though. So I guess, am I attacking with those guys? I guess we are going to trade the Trumpeteer for the Companion, which I don't really mind. And I guess next, I'm pretty sure they have the Wrath of God in hand. Select for inspection. I guess that tends to indicate that they don't have it actually. Sure. I'm gonna just recast the rats, second main phase, and be happy with that. <clears throat> that card is so sweet. Chief of the Foundry, okay. Oh, I'll chase Daredevil. A sweet creature, for sure. I think we just want to attack with both creatures, boosting the rats. They are going to block the rat, then I play Daredevil plus Goggles. It's not an Artificer, no. And pass the turn. And if they have a Wrath, I don't care because I can rebuy that anytime I want. I guess I should keep the Goggles. I have so many artifacts though that it probably doesn't really matter that I play the Goggles. And the advantage of playing the Goggles is that then if I play a Judge... Well, I, I guess since I have Daredevil I should actually slow roll the Goggles. That makes sense, I think. If you want a Wrath next turn, feel free to do so. My board is going to be rebuilt in a couple seconds. Sky Skiff, sure. It's a 3-4. So... Yeah. Mm, don't really have any great attack into that. I guess I can drop the goggles. Put them on the judge. Attack with judge and daredevil. If they want to trade their Sky Skiff for daredevil, I'm happy enough. I can drop the key second main phase, get it back. Yo, as they just take a lot of damage. Okay, I don't think we wanna drop anything here because they have Wrath, because, yeah, because I have the, I don't really want to, them to know about the keys because if they know about the key, they will play differently, but this is just, my album got destroyed. Good God. Well, I did not really expect that deck to go 3-0, but things worked out for us. That was quite sweet. I don't know. We got there though. Sweet. Hope you enjoyed the draft. Uh, last game was definitely pretty funny.
and all in all things worked out very well for us and if you wonder if Judge is a good card, I guess you have the answer now. Thanks for watching, see you for another draft.